Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Live from the studios of Channel 31 Melbourne, it's now time for some very fishy news. Uh, the next one is a bit disturbing, boys, and only news that I've, uh, you know, a few whispers and I had a few phone calls from a few concerned anglers today is that the Commonwealth Government is proposing, well, I don't know whether proposing is the right, right word, bullying the state government and threatening them that they are going to take over the management of southern bluefin tuna, recreational fishing southern bluefin tuna. Now, <clears throat> just to paint the picture, I would have said, and I think we all know it, southern bluefin tuna stocks have been getting better. I mean, we've just been talking about it. Yep. Um, they're regularly caught off the heads now, off mm. Western Port. They were, they were seen on the webcam of... Uh, of Pope's, a eye. Pope's eye two weekends ago. They had a Queenscliff Pier the other day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw him on so, Queenscliff last week, yeah. So we've got this abundance of stock, and there was a 500 tonne increase in Australia's quota for southern bluefin tuna on the world scale. You know, so there's a quota set. That entire 500 tonne was given to the South Australian commercial industry. So no increase in recreational take. There was a while back an undertaking by the Commonwealth Government to do a comprehensive study on what the estimated catch is for recreational fishing. They haven't done that, but all of a sudden they've come out and they've said, Victoria, we want you to halve your bag limit. And if you don't halve your bag limit, then we will take over the fishery, we're gonna do it anyway, and there'll be penalties if you don't conform to halving the bag limit. Now, we saw elephant fish reduced to one bag. Mm -hmm. How many people go targeting elephant fish now? Yeah, not many. How many people percentage. are going to drive to Portland, pay accommodation, and they're allowed to take one fish? When the barrels aren't running and you've only got school fish to... You're not going to do it, are you? Why does this pop up every year? Every single tuna well, season we sit back. It, what I'd, I'd love to know, is this... Is it a political move? Is it a... Why do we keep hearing about this? Because, like I said, we, from our point of view, we've seen an increase in tuna catches and stocks. Yeah. Why does this pop its head up every single year as if we're almost being led to believe that southern bluefin tuna are endangered species? I, I don't know. Uh, something I also find disturbing, and I've spoken to um, uh, Rob Lotz today, the chairman of Verfish, and I uh, understand that Verfish and... Um, Minister, oh, I think she's Assistant Minister Rustin from the Rustin from the Commonwealth Government had a bit of a meeting last week, and I don't know the content of that meeting, but uh, it forced there's a bit of heat going on, and uh, you know a few people have found out that this meeting took place. Now I don't know whether Verfish agreed to reducing the bag limit on southern bluefin tuna or not, uh, but they did put out a statement that says um, that that they don't support Commonwealth intervention. Uh, using tradable quotas, limited tags, reporting, or additional fees, which I think's been on the the the, the um, on the table for a while, uh, but they also don't support changes to recreational fishing management arrangements for, for southern bluefin tuna without adequate consultation with the sector. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not tough enough. We're talking about a, a, a fishery that is widespread, that is worth probably millions to the economy that tens of thousands of anglers go and do every year and they they won't they don't want changes unless there's consultation. What how about coming out and saying no, the the stocks are abundant and we want an increase, if anything. Yeah, it's you know it's it, it baffles me why it gets brought up every year to be honest. Please, please trust me, Southern Bluefin tuna is under threat by the Commonwealth Government. They do not manage one single fishery for recreational species and they're threatening to take this one over and take recreational fishing for southern bluefin tuna off you, the angler. We need to fight it, and unfortunately tonight's our last show for the, for the season, but we'll keep stuff up on our social media because this is a fight we need to fight. We're not gonna take it. The fish are in good nick, the stocks are in good nick, and we need to fight for this fishery because it ain't going to the commercials the way they think it is. It's staying with the recreationals. Yep. Talking fishing.